have to start buying my soybeans from uh, Whole Foods and squeezing my own nuts, my own beans. <laughs> <laughs> So as a London resident, Rihanna has shown me how to be zero waste in London, so she's been showing me how to collect soybeans and how to make soy milk without buying in Tesco's, and also how to save money as well, because I, I always thought it being zero waste meant that it was more expensive, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you can actually save money by going zero waste. So I've learned how to be more environmentally friendly and also how to get more you know, value for my money. It's been very helpful, so now I can effectively live out the zero waste life um, and reduce my carbon footprint and my plastic footprint. Okay, so in this whole food you can get soybeans for one ninety nine a kilogram. I've just filled my reusable bag, and this bag will make a ton of bottles of soy milk. Yeah. So is this better value for money than than get it from a supermarket? Yeah, I think this works out at about 40p a litre if you're making it from home. And the cool thing about this is that a lot of ones from the supermarket, I don't want to scare people at home. They have like stabilisers yeah. and other ingredients in. And all the time we don't know exactly what those things are, but we know we just happily eat or drink them. But the thing I like about making um, our own soy milk is it's just water, yeah. beans, stevia and salt and that's it. Yeah. And it's great and it, I mean there's no kind of like added fortified vitamins. So you probably need to like recheck if you rely on your calcium from your soy milk or something. But that's easy enough to do if you just kind of eat some green veg. Broccoli is great for calcium. So could you explain a little bit about the bag? Because I don't know, are these like a wash bag? Are they for toiletries or are they specially designed? So these do look a bit like those wash bags that you put your like underwear in. Yeah. But they're for, well they're, they're supposed to be for fruit and veg okay. more. They're good if you go to a farmer's market and you've got kind of like small things to put in. They're not ideal to be honest for soybeans, but I just, they're, they're what I've got with me. Resourceful. And they come in a, a little set and they're called Onya. Um, on your produce bag so if you just google that you'd find them and you get five in one of these little baggies that you can just then attach to your own bag um, and they're, they're great they don't really weigh anything so you don't actually have to go to the counter first to get them weighed so that's handy i also put like you can also wash your fruit and veg in them so if you like if you get stuff from the farmer's market you could just keep them in there yeah wash them straight and then put them directly in the fridge. And it'll stop like fruit flies and stuff I imagine as well. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah that's, that's, that's a good point. So we're getting our zero waste coffee and they're about 15 and Andrew is insisting on smelling every single one before we decide which coffee to get. How do you know which one to get? I've smelled about seven and I like the first one. She's a bit more decisive than I am, it has to be said. It smells really nice. Okay, so you put the coffee in the top. Yeah. Have you ever done this before? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, give it a go and we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what goes. Give it a go and film it. Exactly, why not try it? That went well, didn't it? Well estimated. And that is how you do your zero waste coffee. So we're now getting some um, rice noodles. And we do this build a bowl option. And the upstairs bit of whole foods. 
because Ed's chosen the tofu bowl. Rice noodles. Good choice. I think I'm going to get the same thing. So to keep this work balanced, because it's impossible to never produce any waste, we're always going to produce some. I felt like ice cream, so I got the dairy-free bouja bouja caramel pecan praline, which is of course not zero waste, even though this is a paper packaging. This is plastic, this is plastic, but I use my sport with it, so balances out. So this is the organic apple cider vinegar that I use in my homemade toner for my face. Um, it's the one that all the zero wasters seem to use that are in America. And I don't know really, I don't actually know what this means, but this one, it comes with the mother. So it has like these bits in it. But I use this in my toner and I spray it on my face and it's fantastic. I will make a video showing you how to make zero waste toner with three ingredients in it. Now, if you're a bit of a water connoisseur and you're fussy with how you like the taste of your water, then you might not be a fan of the slightly metallic -y taste when you drink water because I really find them uncomfortable, but needs must. And I officially have a proper bump now. I think, yeah, during the first trimester, you couldn't see at all. 